when we say we we humbled by by everything that we saw here today, uh, it's an understatement. But be assured that that we will always, with the same intensity that we that you saw on the rugby field, we will always fight for this country. For all of you that that never were out there, this is the best country. All the challenges that we do have in here make us so strong. And that is why we a nation when we leave this country. That's why we can stand together. And that's why we can stand tall and proud and everybody's envy of us. And everybody wants to be like us. Today I want to say thank you to all of you. All of you for coming. All of you supporting. Wearing green jerseys on Bog Day. Rooting for us. Flags on the cars. Making the whole South Africa green. We didn't achieve what we wanted to. We gave you a lot of hope when we left here. We never fulfilled our own dreams and we never fulfilled yours. By saying that, we let you down. But we never did it on purpose. We went down fighting, fighting for our country. And that's what made me proud. Proud to have a bunch of warriors we call Springbok rugby players. We'll go out there will give their lives, will bruise themselves, will break their bones, will break everything for this country. And they, that makes me proud to be part of this team and proud of this country. <coughs> to John, Victor, <coughs> four years, a long time. Four years went by in one moment for us. You're great people. You're really great people. You made life worthwhile for me. And on behalf of the whole South Africa, the whole team and everybody that knows you so well and those that don't know you, people who were critical about you and people who rooted for you, all of them, we want to wish you Godspeed on whatever endeavors there is in your life. Certain things in life do come to an end, but life goes on. And what you mean for this country Nobody will ever, ever take away. And I'm just telling you for you and your families that we will always honor you. We will always respect you. And you will be always be my hero. Yeah, I've, what I said there, I've been a bit of forced into that um, by the players. A few of them came to me uh, on their own and asked me about their futures. Um, I couldn't give them answers because I didn't know what mine was. And, and the only thing that players and people want out there is, is security and um, want to know where they're going. And because I couldn't, couldn't tell them, um, uh, it made me feel as if I weren't in control. So um, didn't hear. I was the only coach at the tournament who never knew about my future. All the other coaches were, were settled when they went there. And um, so the writing is on the wall. Uh, we read it. and. Um, yeah, we move on. I never resigned. I just said it's the end of, of the road for me. So who are you waiting for? Do you want to resign or do you want to continue? It's quite clearly you don't want to continue. There's one, there's, one, there's one logical thing, and that is that I had a four-year contract. And the day that I signed that contract four years back, I knew that they, they, this day will come. So it will be stupid of me not to live and, 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 and die by the contract. So my contract is ending in two months' time, at the end of December. And then I don't have a job. It's as easy and as, 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 as simple as that. You know, if you sit in that box and you, and you go through <coughs> the emotions and you see what's happening, you see you're in control, you see your boys are really doing what, what we decided to do. Um, they're breaking down the walls slowly, 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 and just to, to give, that, give that, that blow to, to put them out. Uh, then you've been called back. Um, from two tries, uh, you said, then you think to yourself, yeah, oh, what else? Why? Why not? Um, then you make peace with it, and you go down to a to a dressing room, and you see the faces of of of, of the boys who gave who gave everything. Then then you you feel you feel helpless because because they need you. They need you to make a change now, and you can't because the scoreboard is has been set in stone out there. So um, to go watch that, that painful experience is, is like standing forever next to a, next to a, into a cemetery, watching a, a grave that's been already cemented. 
and long for, for things that can't, can't happen again. Yeah, you know, um, the one thing that Victor said um, that stands out in my, in my four years, and that is no regrets. Um, I promise everybody that I will make rugby decisions. Uh, I will be honest with the country. I will be honest with the players. Um, I never said I won't make mistakes. Uh, but those mistakes are only what other people perceive. Um, to me, uh, we planned everything soundly. Um, everybody was invo were involved. The players that were here, the assistant coaches that are here, they were all part of it. They were sitting, sit down, and, and uh, we planned everything um, up till, till the last minute. Uh, so if I can live my life over again, um, I will definitely do everything the same. Except I will bunk a few media conferences. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that's the end of the questioning, then. Dan, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just for the coach, um, 